number four is so um hello youtube uh it's bo miaga kid and today uh i'm showing you how to make graphics uh we are not on music but it's music related so if you wanna create your album ads and cover ads by yourself uh stay tuned you are on the right video i'm going to show you using my gym or gim or g i m p 2.10 today of which is a free uh, software mostly relatable to uh, your adobe your corel your illustrator your photoshop you know all those um, uh, photo editing or graphic designing softwares so it's a free software you just download it on your google and get to business as we get to business uh, i'll be showing you today uh the tools uh the layers and also cutting how do you go about cutting um and pasting you know so i hope the writing because minangi writes ngalangi priority it's boom and you know uh we are on our tutorials youtube tutorials so if you are new to the channel please uh consider uh subscribing for more content like this uh for regulars get a shout out um i see you guys uh the notification gang uh, i see you guys thank you very much then let's get to business then uh uh when you open your gym uh this is what will appear on your screen ne? so for for you to start working you have to come to new uh then you choose your template uh, let me show you uh because i'll be working on the album uh ads for that i will use for distributing on spotify amazon and other um major platforms i'll uh, i'll be use the I'll be using the recommended uh, 3000 by 3000 template. Yes, uh, this is what will happen. Then you choose your colors. Uh, for the foreground color, I will like to use pink today. Uh, yes, I will just use this themed pink. Then for the background color, I will, I will use uh, black. Then I will sw swap. Then I come to the first tool I want to show you today, of which is the gradient tool. Um, let's use our gradient tool to design something of this nature. Uh, let's drag this one up. Yeah, right, right. I love it already. I love it already. I love it already. Then um, let's swap the colors once again. Exchange, exchange foreground with background. Yes, then I will open another photo of which I will love to use as the background uh, on, on this on this uh, photo. It's the downloaded uh, picture from from Google. I just loved it because it has this African feel. I will use it uh, on this image of mine. Then let's get to cutting for at first I, I will crop because uh i don't like that uh text that was written there okay let me resize this photo because it, it is now added as another layer right here okay here is the layer that we created then here is the layer of uh this photo then on this layer you will have to come to mode uh it's mode normal then you click here then uh click uh overlay instead of normal then you will have something like this right then uh, i will add uh, a text um let me look for a uh, a font uh, I will use this font let me check if it's okay or not uh, fade okay then we resize
then we create spacing in between uh, okay all right um, <clears throat> We have something like this now it's coming out very good then uh, I would love to add uh, another picture uh, okay uh, let me go and and collect it from Okay, I will, I will use this one of which is my picture uh, rotate there are other ways uh, I will show you how on how to cut uh, the image but for today because we have a solid background of which is white uh, I will just recommend using this way you come here to the layers okay you click on your on your right then you add alpha channel after doing so you come to your tool uh fuzzy select tool then you click on the background uh then you click on ctrl x which is delete we are deleting the background uh then we will be left with the photo only with the thingy that we need uh, my gimp is not responding uh, maybe it will it's for the good you know <coughs> yes uh, now it's done then we are clicking on this on this part that are left behind here okay for this that you see here I will just uh, use the the eraser tool um, increase the size let me increase even more you see right then I am erasing Okay, then I click and drag uh, to here once again to create another layer. The most important thing is that you do not add um, what you call you. We do not add photos in one layer. We add into separated layers so that we can focus on that uh, on that uh, image at that time. As I'm scaling this this image only this image down not the whole photo I hope you understand that um, yes then let me scale it down then I will move this layer to the top of everything so that it it appears very good then I take my eraser again then I I erase uh, looking to the reference uh, image at the back because this uh, video is created for educational purposes only I will not uh, I will not work into detail that much um, I will just show you the way then I will master my picture late late then yeah you know we will be good to go for now we have something like this uh if you would like to add uh maybe logos uh you can go and fetch your logo uh on control o then um let me use this one ok 
okay um, you do that thing again you add alpha channel then you come to your father select tool you select your background then control X then you fix uh, those part that are left uh, uh, okay then you click and drag your your logo Okay, let me close this one. Let me just put it here. Then, yeah, you will just um, uh, do anything. Then, I, I I'm just teaching you how to do things. Then you will do uh, using your creativity as an artist. For now, um, I'm thinking of closing this video. Uh, good luck guys um, thank you very much uh, thank you for 350 subscribers and me extending content on this uh, on this channel I'm hoping to achieve at least 500 subscribers uh, before the end of 2021 okay thank you very much guys peace I am out